there is a curious anomaly. That is, there is a curious not fitting together of ideas in the opening chapter of the book of Genesis. What did God create on the first day? Everybody knows that. God created light. Not as many people know the answer to on what day of the creation sequence God created the sun, the moon, the stars, and the heavenly luminaries. The correct answer is day four. That's the anomaly. You don't have to be a Talmud Chacham. You don't have to be a rocket scientist. You don't have to be a brain surgeon to see that there's a problem there. How could God make light on day one but not make any of the sources of light until the fourth day. The answer given by our tradition is that the light that God created on day one when God said, let there be light, wasn't optical light. The reason it wasn't optical light was that there was no source for the light yet created. The light that God made on day one was, as a matter of fact, consciousness or awareness. Even to this day, when we want to depict a cartoon character getting a bright idea, we draw a light bulb over his or her head. What God made when God began creation then was awareness. If you don't believe me, all you have to do is look at a newborn infant lying there in the dark oblivion of unconsciousness the little soul slowly opens unfocused eyes and looks around at a universe. And then, after that moment of light and consciousness, sinks back into unconsciousness again. The Midrash, and after it, the Zohar, take this image even further. They say that the light that God created on day one was so bright that in it, Adam and Eve were able to gaze from one end of creation to the other. Adam and Eve could see you and I right now. Go ahead, wave to Adam. Hi, Adam, how are you? But then God had a problem because when God realized that Adam was unable to follow one simple mitzvah, don't eat the fruit, God realized that God would take that light of ultimate awareness in which Adam lived and would destroy creation. On the other hand, if God simply took away the possibility of ultimate awareness, creation couldn't exist either. So the Midrash and then the Zohar say that God solved the problem this way. God had to leave the light in the world, and God did it by hiding the light in gross matter. God hid the light in the trees and in the rocks and in the mountains and in the streams and in people. Like Yoda says in Star Wars, beings of pure light are we. And as the psalm says, Or Zarua Latzadik, light is hidden away for the righteous ones. And when you act like a good man or a good woman, then a little bit of that ancient hidden light of consciousness and awareness makes its way back into the universe.